Dear learners, welcome to the new session on web technology. I am Anurag Bhatt, Assistant Director, Computer IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. The learning objectives in this session are inline style sheets, internal style sheets, external style sheets and a link to the external cascading style sheet. So in this session, we are particular about inline style sheets, the working of internal as well as external style sheets and we will cover the link to an external CSS. So let us start with inline style sheet. An inline cascading style sheet is used to apply a unique style to a single HTML element. An inline CSS uses the style attribute of an HTML element. The following example sets the text color of the H1 heading element to blue and the text color of the paragraph element P to green. We have the example. Then we are having doc type HTML, HTML tag, then body tag, H1 style equals to color, then color attribute is having blue value. In the previous session, we have covered that color here is a property and blue is the property value. So here we have color property and its value is blue. So a blue heading H1. Now we have marked the text of blue and heading in the blue color and we have closed this H1 tag here. Now paragraph P, the style attribute is having color green, a red paragraph and we are having here we are having the text as red paragraph but we have set the color as green and here we close the paragraph tag P. Then we close body tag and then again we close the HTML tag. So in inline sheet uh, style sheet example in this figure 8.2 we have a blue heading, the output and the red paragraph. So blue heading itself is in blue heading and a red paragraph is the paragraph and we have uh, changed this color to green. In this previous slide, we have uh, set property uh, examples and that style attribute of an HTML element, we provide the facility to make the text color in any of the required one and to make our heading as well as paragraph to the color we want. Internal style sheet. An internal CSS is used to define a style for a single HTML page. An internal CSS is defined in the head section of an HTML page. So we have to uh, keep it in our mind that the internal CSS is defined in the head section of an HTML page within a style element. Now we have elaborated it. This selector, selector is H1, then style is color blue and this the pair of property and its value color blue. Color is the property, blue is the value. Then this style segment, we have font style that is italic. Here in the style segment we have font style that is the again the property of the style and value is italic. So we can make it italic, we can make it bold, we can make it in any of the styles, font style we all know. Internal style sheet. The following example sets the text color of all the H1 elements, heading elements on that particular page to yellow and the text color of all the P elements, paragraph elements to white. In addition, the page will be displayed with a purple background color, see in the next slide. So here we have purple background, in this we have this is my heading, it is in blue, uh, yellow color and this is the heading and we have the paragraph that this is my paragraph. So we start with doc type HTML, then HTML tag, then head tag, style tag and its uh, the element body, 
background color is purple so we have made the background hyphen color colon then we have provided the value as purple then h1 is color yellow then paragraph is color white then style tag is closed head tag is closed body tag uh, is again we are providing the body that this is my heading this is the text we have provided to the heading and then paragraph this is my paragraph and p tag is closed again then body tag is closed again then html tag is closed again so here we have provided the background color as purple then heading color is yellow and paragraph color is white and we have provided the text for that particular heading and paragraph that heading is this is my heading it is in yellow color and then this is my paragraph it is in white color here we are having the internal style sheet example now we are heading towards external style sheet now we will be discussing the features of external style sheet if you need to use your style sheet to various pages then it's always recommended to define a common style sheet in a separate file an external style sheet is used to define the style of many html pages so here are the advantages of external style sheets over internal style sheet to use an external style sheet add a link to it in the head section of each html page here are having some example first we have doc type html then html then head then in the title tag we are having wiki techy link tag then title is closed then again i have marked the link that is rel relative rel equals to style sheet then type equals to text or css then href href equals to link underscore css dot css so here in href we are providing the link for the particular css then head tag is closed then body body inside the body we have h1 tag then link tag is used to link to external style sheets we have provided these heading h1 and then again h1 is closed then paragraph in paragraph tag we are provided content is here and then we have closed that particular paragraph tag then again body tag is closed here and then html tag is closed here so here are the example in which we have used external style sheet and added a link to it in the head section of each html page and in external style sheet is used to define the style for many html pages and the main feature which i want to recall is that if we want to use some style sheet to various pages then it's always recommended to define a common style sheet so there is a need of common style sheet in a separate file an external style sheet is used again to define the style of many html pages itself here we have external style sheet example again html then uh, head tag then uh, link rel equals to a uh, style sheet href equals to styles.css then head tag is closed body again we have body tag then it is we having h1 this is my heading h1 is closed again p is the paragraph this is my paragraph and it is paragraph is closed then body clarity tag is closed and html tag is closed so here we are having in the output this is my heading and this is my paragraph so we have provided here the external style sheet external style sheets can be written in any text editor the file should not contain any html code and should be saved with a dot css extension so uh, we can use any of the text editors uh, for the uh, for the external style sheets the file should not contain any html code 
and should be saved with a .css extension. So there is no need uh, to uh, to the file to be to contain HTML code. The styles .css file looks like this. External style sheet. We are having body, then background color, uh, powder blue. H1 is color blue, paragraph color red. So style sheet file for figure 8.4. So the in the previous figure 8.4, we which we are uh, using, we have, which we have showed here. This is the style dot CSS file for that particular figure 8.4 in the previous slide. Now the last but not the least is link to any external CSS. External style sheets can be referenced with the full URL or with the path relative to the current web page. Here, head, then link rel equals to style sheet, href equals to https, then we have provided here www.techalmira.com slash html slash styles.css. So here is the path in the href. And this is the style sheet and href we are providing the URL. So head tag is closed again. So external style sheets can be referenced with the full URL. Full URL or web address we have to provide or with the path relative to the current web page. So this is the link to the external CSS. Now points to remember. Here are some points we have to remember and to keep it in our mind. External style sheets are stored in CSS files. It is very good to use HTML style attribute for inline styling. It is good to use HTML style element to define internal CSS. It is very good to use HTML link element to refer to the external link CSS, external CSS file. So we have an idea about the external style sheets, which are obviously we are, which are stored in CSS files. It is great to use HTML style attribute and this style element. We have used it. We have elaborated it and the link element, which we have elaborated in the previous slides. It is very beneficial to use HTML head element to store style and link elements. It is again very good to use CSS color property for text color. It is again beneficial to use CSS font family property for text fonts. We can have so many font family members property and its value can be bold, italic and uh, we can use it. It is good to use CSS font size property for text sizes. So we can have the font size property also. For example, we can have 10 pixels, 20 pixels, 30 pixels. We can uh, use accordingly. Here are some learning outcomes uh, learners. There is after this session, there is basic understanding of inline style sheets to the learners. Learners are about to know the key concepts of internal style sheets in addition to the inline style sheets. Then basic understanding of external style sheets and learners will be a knowledge of the link to external CSS after this particular session. So learners, I think, I hope that this session will be very beneficial for you. Thank you so much learners.